Hey, this is Dr. Corey Gilbert with the Healthy Marriage Inner Circle and the Warrior Marriage Podcast. You can find our podcast anywhere on iTunes or other places you listen to podcasts and love to um, be able to speak into your life here. This is all about growing strong marriages, growing strong families, and being the husbands and wives that God wants us to be. Today we're going to look at um, this book, When Bad Things Happen to Good Marriages by Les and Leslie Parrott. This is one that really impacted me years and years ago, um, about 16 years ago. Actually, I think that's when it came out. Um, and I even, my memory here is I actually gave this to my father-in-law when my wife and I were dating. And he was like, uh, excuse me, what's, is there something wrong with my marriage? And it was kind of funny because I didn't mean it that way. I was like, you're a pastor. Here's a great tool. So today I want to highlight a few things uh, that I talk about from this book in my um, undergraduate classes that I teach. Um, this first one here is six bad things that sneak up on good marriages. So we're going to look at these six things because it's a critical place for us to pause and to look at our own relationship, our own marriage. And I love this quote here. There is much pain that is quite noiseless and vibrations that make human agonies are often a mere whisper in the roar of hurrying existence. From George Eliot. There is much pain that is quite noiseless. That's an indictment. And vibrations that make human agonies are often a mere whisper in the roar of hurrying existence. And you'll see how this impacts and and influences these six things. This is too many of us. How many of us are dealing with busyness that overwhelms? We can't think straight. We can't have family meetings or check in with each other because we are just insanely to hurry. And this is going to impact your marriage. This is going to impact your family. This is going to actually lead to some of these other ones as well. Um, how many of us, because of that especially, live irritable? I mean, we all have our bad days. We all get to the point we are irritable. But this is when it becomes a, a theme in our relationship. And now we're unhealthy. Another one is just boredom. This is a big one for young people. This is a big one for the 20-somethings that end up acting out even. If your marriage is kind of bored, if you're bored in your marriage, if you're bored in your work, this actually tends to be kind of a cancer to um, having a healthy marriage. Or the fact is, is for many couples, you just drift apart. You didn't intentionally mean to. It was just that's what happened over time. And so the answer, give back together. Get to work. Don't let that be the determining factor of the next steps. Instead, you're looking at that going, whoa, course correction, back on track, back together, intentional. Don't let us, if you can prevent it, great. But if you find yourself there, it's time to get back. Debt, really big one. You have this commitment to someone else that sometimes it feels impossible you can't fulfill. It's like a noose around your neck at times. Um, boy, we've we been there and it's a horrible place and you you need to be able to see debt as something that, as Dave Ramsey even talks about, it's not a tool. Uh, it's something to actually avoid. Um, are some Do some use it and use it well? Great, yes, but most of us don't. And so being able to be careful with that. Um, and then the last one that I spend a lot of time on in my own counseling with people is pain from the past. We, too many of us have trauma. Too many of us have stuff in our past that impact who we are today we need to address these. So if you walk through these and think about them, there's too much that actually we have that affect us, like these, you know, the busyness, the irritability, the boredom, that actually we wonder why we are here in our marriage. Well, I can tell you why. Look at this list. What do you want to do next? What are you going to do next? How are you going to build a healthy, strong marriage? It takes intentionality. It takes Uh, purposefulness. It takes planning. Um, It doesn't just happen. It actually, drift just happens. Going to these other places happen. It's kind of like if you think of a budget, you need to plan what you want to have done in in, in this year versus letting it kind of just happen and wondering how you ended up there. Love this quote from Robert Johnson, stirring the oatmeal is a humble act. It represents a willingness to find meaning in the simple, unromantic tasks, earning a living, living within a budget, putting out the garbage. This is marriage. This is family. Too often, because of our movies and society and what we do, is things have to be exciting all the time. Party, 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 and that's not healthy. 
And oftentimes these seeds of this get planted in the teen and 20 something years, which means you're never going to be satisfied and you're going to always be looking for that next high or that next adventure or that next thing that it never fulfills. So be careful with that. Another quote from George Eliot, many an inherited sorrow that is marred a life has been breathed into no human ear. There's too much that's gone on in so many people's lives that they've never shared. I've been privy of so many of those where I have someone sit down and go, I've never told anyone this, but, and they start talking and sharing their story. This is heartbreaking, but it's also beautiful. God is a God that's a redeemer and he wants to redeem. He wants to um, come in and clean up and straighten out and point in the right direction and help you, help us build something that we're proud of. But it takes work and that's oftentimes we're not willing to do the work. And so being able to to know what to do uh, is really difficult. So if you think about where you are with your marriage and what you want with your marriage, I want to actually come back to this first quote There is much pain that is quite noiseless, and vibrations that make human agonies are often a mere whisper in the roar of hearing existence. I want you to be able to slow down and stop. I want you you to be able to find something um, that brings you joy, but it's actually not about you just being happy. Because you know what? There's a lot of what I do that brings me joy, but it's definitely not happiness. I love to work with couples whose lives are falling apart. Why? Because it brings me joy to see their lives transformed. I love to see families and parents uh, re-engage with their kids and and repair relationships. It's not fun, and it brings me joy, but it doesn't make me happy. Because where I find happiness is in a different place. I need to be careful with that. Too many of us have secrets that we haven't shared, and we need to be able to go there. It's kind of back to this other quote here, this Many an inherited sorrow that is marred a life has been breathed into no human ear. I want you to be a safe place for others to come to. And I've been so thankful to be that for so many. Why we need to address the stuff in the past, take the power away from that so that we can have a very different future. There's a lot of off ramps from the path that you're on. Take one of those off ramps. Reinvent yourself in a sense. There's so much hope. Um, if you allow it, if you get the right help. There are great books, there are great podcasts, there are great resources, great studies and Bible studies that could change your life. Get that help so that you can actually avoid some of these um, unhealthy places that we end up where we let boredom take over or we drift apart or we, we're stuck in debt and we're overwhelmed um, or we've got um, irritability as kind of just a a theme in our relationship that impacts our kids. So I hope you build a strong marriage you're proud of and that these don't become something that you end up um, stuck in, that you can be the architect of your marriage and of your family, all the way from what you do hour to hour throughout the day and in the evenings and your habits and the weekends, but you can actually be proud of the intentional choices as a family, again, financially, Um, emotionally, relationally, the whole of who you are. God has designed it that way. You're so complex, yet it's about surrendering ourselves to who he wants us to be um, as a husband, as a wife, as a parent, and building a marriage we're proud of. So bless you. And if you uh, are interested in more, um, check me out at healinglives.com. Also, you can book a marriage breakthrough call at drcorey.org. And I would love to talk to you more and see how I can serve you more. Bless you in your marriage.